Dom's such a cool character too. What have you learned about yourself by playing her? Oh my God, I've learned so much about myself. I've learned that I'm not as lonely and miserable as she is. <laughs> I'm not as um, alienated from the world. Um, I have more friends. <laughs> but yeah, she, no, she's tough. She's a uh, She's pretty strong and unwielding and aggressive and optimistic and powerful. And uh, I think that also her her role, I feel like, is usually reserved for, I mean, it's sort of a male archetype, right? Like the, the cop on the, on the run and on the search for the answers. And I like that she's a young woman. I like that she's a contemporary of that society. And um, you can see her sort of relate to them and relate to Elliot and, um, and see how they're sort of they're similar in a lot of ways. They're coming they're coming at the same thing with completely different perspectives and they're both prisoners of their own mind. And I just love how her story has been uh, more and more weaved into the rest of the cast and the rest of the story of Mr. Robot. Playing Elliot has taught me so much uh, just about the world and about myself and uh, it's made me a better person, I can say that. It's uh, it's one of those rare roles where not only uh, do you feel fulfilled as an actor, but you feel fulfilled as a person. Yeah. You feel, uh, you know, the attention that the show garners is not just because people are, uh, you know, sit back and enjoy it as a popcorn show, but it's it's just an exciting show to watch, and it's actually like thought provoking and. Uh, and it moves people to actually take action, so I'm, I'm really proud of that. It's made me grow so much as an actor, and also like working with Sam um, has really, it's really shown me like, I guess what I can do. Um, and I don't know, it's weird because it's like, the lines are so blurred between Darlene and Carly, like when we're filming and what I've like learned and know versus like, I don't even know how to explain it. But it's been, it's been like, obviously the most ama amazing character I've gone to play. What's playing this character taught you about yourself? That's a really good question. That's like very spiritual. <laughs> um, man, I don't know. I guess to be a stronger person and a stronger woman, like what Angela went through in the first season is not something that I ideally live out in a normal day, especially her scenes with Terry Colby and just her work environment. Um, and I just have a lot more respect for what it's like to kind of be a woman in that setting, climbing the corporate ladder and what that might feel like. Not that it's exactly Angela's story, but I do feel this overwhelming sense of responsibility now, showcasing character that's a very tenacious young woman. And being in my spot, I feel a responsibility, especially now in what's going on with the world, um, just to have a stronger voice and being supportive of women.